Do not give up hope. Do not hurt yourself and God or think you not go out and hurt somebody else over this. We will get this right. That was Kentucky State Senator Karen Berg moments before the Republican-led state legislature Mm -hmm. overrode Democratic Governor Andy Beshear's veto of a bill that prohibits gender-affirming care for transgender minors. While the ban will not go into effect until late June, the legislation's restrictions on teaching about gender identity and which bathrooms transgender students can use are already in effect. Many activists say they're outraged over the bill's impact on young people. And Kentucky's branch of the ACLU says it will not let this go without a fight. Joining me now, Kentucky State Senator Karen Berg. Senator Berg, thank you very much for coming to the Sunday show. You had to deal with something absolutely devastating last year. Your transgender son, Henry, died by suicide. How has his death impacted the way you advocate for the LGBTQ community? Good morning, Jonathan. Thank you very much for having me on the show. And I think, honestly, um, having, you know, as a mother, as a physician, and now as a lawmaker, um, my personal family story has, has shown to me how important people understanding and, and being able to access health care is for this population. You know, what we have going on here right now, we have a national, concerted, well-funded effort to eventually erase gay and trans children from our schools. Um, That leads to horrible ramifications. Mm -hmm. Senator Senator Burke. Finish your thought. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Go on, sir. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that so many people, in so elected officials in so many states, have decided that transgender children are the ones should ha- that they should be putting tra- uh, targets on their backs, targets on the backs of children? This is actually um, the product of an extraordinarily well-funded, concerted national effort by the Alliance Defending Freedom to bring these bills to state houses and get this legislation passed, even though it doesn't come from our state. We have never had a child in this state have genital reassignment surgery. We follow all of the national guidelines. I'm a a physician. I know what we do in this state. But, but we have national interests that are intentionally bringing not just this bill, they're bringing a, a variety of bills, gun bills, you know, to expand gun carrying and open carrying, anti-trans and anti-gay bills, book banning bills. This is all a part of a concerted national effort, honestly, to 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 scare voters, to bring them together. They think they have a winning political agenda because they think they can scare their voters enough to think, oh, we have to vote for these people because the world is so scary. Otherwise, there's nothing else we can do. When they don't realize that these people have nothing, they do not care about them. They do not particularly care about this state. Mm -hmm. This is an overriding national Christian right-wing agenda. And and people need to pay attention. People Mm -hmm. need to know this is happening before these bills pass. I mean, I don't mean to keep talking, sir, but in Missouri, they defunded their library system. Think about what we're talking about here in Kentucky. We took away what is considered normal, standard, accepted health care for a population of our children, even with parental consent. Mm 